There you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's video I'm gonna be showing you how to make this beautiful set earrings and a ring with the pattern that I was showing you in my previous video and in my previous video we did a bracelet. Do you remember the bracelet? If you don't, I'm linking it here at the eye icon. And here is the ring to this bracelet. And today I'm going to show you how to make those beautiful earrings. And of course you could make a bracelet with the same colors. And you see how it looks with less colors added and with more colors added. Okay. So now if you like what I'm showing you here and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos for fresh bidding ideas. And you could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action. And if you make beautiful jewelries following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below this video. I will be so happy to see your creations. Down there in description, you will find a full list of materials, a link to my store and a link for PayPal donations to develop this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Now I will start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, and what I'm going to use for this video are three colors of 11 oz seed beads, one color of eight oz. And here, if you make earrings, you will need ear wires. At, and if you're making only the ring, you won't need a clasp or ear wire. And here I need monofilament that is 0 0.006 inches or 0 0.15 millimeters. This is size 10 beading needle and this is scissors. Okay, so now I'm going to take half an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be... Okay guys, and now I'm going to show you how to make an element and turn it into an earring and then into a ring. Okay, so now I'm going to start by picking up two silver beads, two black beads two silver beads, two black beads, two silver beads, two black beads, two silver beads, and then at last two black beads. Okay, so now this is what I have on my needle. I have eight black and eight silver beads. Alternate two by two. Okay, and now I'm sliding my beads down and here what I need to do is make a knot and I'm making my knot by making here a loop and going with my tail thread twice through the loop I've made and then I pull and I have really secure surgeon's knot and now I'm going to make one more knot just to be sure everything will be nice and tight make sure this knot goes between those two beads where you started it from and pull. Okay, so now what I want to do is go in my next two silver beads. Okay, and then in my next step I'm going to take two silvers and I will go back in circle through these two silver beads. Now I'm showing you that you could use less beads than I showed you in my previous video when I was making the bracelet. Okay, less colors of beads I mean. Okay, and here I'm going to take one eight-o bead and go back in circle through these two black beads. Okay, I have something like a loop here. Then I'm going in my next two silver beads. And I'm taking two silvers. I'm going back in circle through these two silvers. Like that. Then in my next two black beads. Taking just one A2. And going back like this. Then in my next two silver beads. And guess what? I'm adding again two silvers. Going back. 
and I will continue this until the end of this row. Okay guys, and now this is what I have, and in my next step, I want to turn my work in this direction, I flipped it, okay, and then I will go through this red bead. As I'm exiting from this black, I'm going here through this red one. And now, what I need to add is a black bead, and go through this silver. Then I will add one more black, go here to the next silver, and then again one more black bead and go through the red. Okay, and in this row guys I'm going to add only black beads. Okay, and after I finish this row, I'm up to my next step, where I'm going to take three black beads. And as I'm exiting from this big red bead, this a I will go back in circle through the same bead, okay? When I pull, I have this, you see. I have something like a loop between my beads, okay? And I pull. Then in my next step, I'm going through these three beads, exiting out of my next black that's sticking out. Okay, like this. And here, guys, what I need to add are three red beads. Okay, I'm going back through this red. And if you can, in one movement, go out through the next eight-o. If you can do this in one movement. Okay. Then I'm going to take three more black beads. Go back here. And around this black one. Then three more red beads, go back, exit out of the next red, and I will continue this until the end of this row. Okay guys, and now I just added these three last beads and what I need to do is go here for all of my beads in this direction and exit here. I will flip my work because it's easier. Exit here at the top out of the next red bead that's sticking out. here at the top and now I will show you how to make this an earring and after that we'll go back to this step and I will show you how to make this ring okay so now we are up to this part where we're making an earring I'm exiting out of this red bead and I'm taking 
one silver bead. Then what I take is my ear wire. Okay, one silver, my ear wire. Slide those down. A silver and ear wire. Then one more bead, okay? And I'm going back in circle through this one. Okay, now I'm going to reinforce this part and make a knot. Okay. Okay guys, now I'm here between those two beads and I want to make a knot and I'm making my knot by making a loop and then going once and going second time through this loop I've made. I make sure I'm between those two beads where I started my knot from and I pull and I could do more and more knots. And when I'm ready, I will go through the following seed bead. And I will cut my thread. Okay guys, now this was, if you want to turn this element into an earring. And I will show you how to make this element into a ring in just a while. Okay, forgot about this part about attaching the ear wire and I'll be back in a while to show you the ring. Guys, and I'm back to this step where uh, I still haven't finished my element and I still haven't added my ear wire and now I will show you how to turn this into a ring. And before to make it, to make a ring, I want to go and reinforce the edges of my work. Okay, I will go one more time around here all the edges of my work because when I'm making a ring it's important that it doesn't bend and move that much. Okay. I just go around these last three beads that I added here. Okay, and because it's a long process, I won't show this here, but I'll do it off camera and then I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay guys, and I reinforce the edges. You see they don't move that easily anymore. And now my thread is almost over. That's why I'm going to cut it and then add a new one, okay? To make my ring band. Okay, now you see how short it is and I'm making here a loop. Going once, going second time through the loop I've made and I'm pulling and then what I do is that I go through my next C bead and then I cut my thread. Now I will put a new arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys and now I have a new longer thread on my needle you see and I want to attach it here. Okay and what I'm going to do is go through this red bead. Then here I want to make a loop. Okay, and I'm going between those two beads making a loop here. Still holding my tail thread and going once. Then I'm going second time through the same loop I made. And I'm pulling. Then what I want to do is go through some beads in this direction. Okay. 
and my goal is to reach the inner circle where I'm going to start my ring band from okay I want to start it from these two silver beads here in the inner circle okay okay guys and now I'm going to take two black beads and go back in circle through these two silvers like that then I will go in these two black beads like that and I will flip my work this way okay now I'm going to take four black beads and I'm going back in circle through these two beads forming a circle of six black beads and this circle I want to reinforce by going one more time around all of my beads here okay and I'm going here now what I want to take is one silver bead and as I'm exiting from this black bead in this direction I want to go through the opposite one and in the same direction where my thread is pointing to okay and I pull and now I have something like a flower Okay, now I'm going here and I want to take four more seed beads. Okay, I have four going back in circle through these two and I have a circle of six. Then I'm going around all of my beads like this. Exiting out of this C bead one more time, taking just one bead, and I'm going through the opposite bead. And how I find the opposite, I'm counting one, two, and going through the third one, and I'm going in the same direction where my thread is pointing to. Okay, then I'm going here in my next two black beads and taking four. Going back in circle like this, then reinforcing my work like that. Go here through this black bead, take just one. Go through the opposite, like this, and pull, and continue these guys until you have a ring band that's long enough to wrap it around your finger. Maybe 16 or 17 beads, in this, it depends. And uh, I will do this off camera, and when I'll, I'm back, I'll tell you what's coming up next. Okay, guys, and now I did 16 elements, and now it's time to connect my ring band to the other part of my work, okay? I want to connect it here, my last flower, to be connected to, through these two silver seed beads. And I'm going to take my needle, okay? And I'm going here through these two silver beads. I'm pulling. Then I want to go back through these two black beads. Okay, pull. Now this is what I have. I have a loop between those beads. And then I want to go one more time here. And then one more time through those two black beads.
Okay guys, and now you could stop your ring band up to here, but I prefer to make an additional step, okay? And in order to do this, I'm going here through this black bead, okay? And here, I want to add one silver bead. You see between those two black beads that are sticking out, okay? Now I have this. Then I want one more silver bead and I'm going here in my next black bead. Then again a silver. Going in my next black. I will show you one more time. Okay, and I'm going to connect and I'm going to continue this until the end of this row. And when I'm up to here, I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay, guys, and when I continue beading, here is where I am. And I'm taking one silver bead. This is the last one from this row. And I want to go through this black bead here. Okay. Then I will go here in those two black beads. Okay, like that. Then I'm going here at this side of my ring band. Okay, now I have this and I want to continue the same thing from this side, okay? I'm taking one seed bead and going here in my next black bead and pulling, taking one more, going in my next black one, okay, one more and go here. Okay, and I will continue this off camera and when I'm up to here, I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay guys, and I'm here where my last step is. Here I'm adding my last silver beads from this row. Now I could make some knots, cut my thread and my ring will be ready. Okay guys, and now my beaded color for ring is ready. So if you like it and you want to see more and more videos like this, and you want to make beautiful sets for presents or for yourself, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell. In this way you will be notified when I release new videos. If you want to support me, you could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action. And if you make beautiful jewelries following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below this video. I will be so happy to see your creations. Down there in description, you will find a full list of materials, a link to my store and a link for PayPal donations to develop this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye from me.